Um, I guess, first of all, could you just explain the category of heaven? Could I explain it? Uh, yeah. Probably, but I don't, I don't like doing that because what happens is it's usually a bad idea because you, you have to use other words, you know, to explain something that's more fundamental than the words you're using. So it's kind of, this kind of explains why I, I use uh, diagrams so much in my book, because basically at one point I saw that um, if you start, if you start describing these things, they, it becomes really verbose and it becomes kind of like philosophy and uh, which there's nothing wrong with. But the problem with that is you don't, you don't um, get to talk about concrete things when you do that. You end up just philosophizing and you end up just doing, a, I guess theology kind of does that in a way. Uh, it, it goes off into really abstract terms and then at one point you realize you're not really talking about reality. You're not really talking about concrete reality. Insisting on that someone have a particular theology is a is a bad idea in the estuary environment and that's it something i wanted to sneak in here before we i don't know if we were going to wrap up at nine or whenever but something i wanted to go back to i ha i was struck by we, you know we talked a bit about we're kind of separating out the estuary protocol as something to promote and share versus like estuary inc you know and there is a tension there because we kind of talked about yeah we don't maybe it shouldn't scale and we don't want the estuary ink thing to be what scales but if that's the case then is there a tension there of the fact that there's an estuary hub.com and uh this promotional stuff going on um you know because and as far as the what that is it looks to me like um the the, the estuary ink it's kind of like the it's kind of like cell groups for bridges of meaning or the little corner because the little the little corner is a brand as well now basically um whether we like it or not i think and so that's just an interesting thing i suppose we'll have to navigate that as we go you know yeah i, I find sorry i find myself drifting away a little bit from this corner or at least PBK is a center and it's it's not something that's bad going on. This my interests are changing, you know? And in in this little corner is a community is doing what it all communities do. It's also well, sorry, I shouldn't put words like that in, but from my perspective, it's getting a lot more specialized. So I'm kind of going to the other smaller channels. And I'm just, okay, if I see what Nate has on, it's like, I don't know, I, don't, I can't really dig that. But other of his shows, I can I can get into it. Or if like Karen Wong's channel, most of her videos, I can't really watch because I don't know what she's saying. I don't know what her guest is saying. But if somebody's on with a certain topic, then it's like, it's cool. So it's, it's kind of like, instead of using this little corner as a place I'm always hanging out, it's now like a bookstore. I'll go in and I'll just kind of browse. That's how it's working out for me anyway. I have no idea if that was connected. <laughs> well, is that in the, you could ask then, is it still a brand in that even if it's a bookstore that we go, you know, it's still like a filtered, curated or, you know, type of thing there, I suppose. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely getting, in my opinion, it's getting way more filtered. What do you mean, can you explain what you mean by that by filtered that again this is just from my opinion i've noticed in the last month or so the level of what i would call academic conversations has sped up incredibly like everybody keeps saying there's something going on with this corner of the internet well the the leaders in that are naturally rising in this corner like they're all jiving on each other now and it's just, it's sped up. And I'm like, I was almost, like I saw the back of that car. I was almost up to the back of that car. And I was like, Phew. this sped off and it's fine. It's just that, okay, where's the off ramp? Because mm -hmm. I, 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 there's no way I'm catching up to that. And again, it's fine. That's, that's 
That's what I'm seeing anyway. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. I would. I, I'm. I'm. Into, into, I'm. I'm noticing that uh, how immediately defensive I am. This is fun. But um, there's there's two thoughts that I have while you're talking. Is one is like, yes, please let it be a natural progression from someone to find the corner into estuary, and then out into the real world where they keep bringing back to estuary what they're getting out there. That's great. You're moving away from the corner. Less time on YouTube and more like helping your family. Yes, God, please. Um, but and then like that's good that that's natural progression, especially if the estuaries remain as a way to stay connected to the community you found in this process. But then defensively, I want to say that Thunder Bay just happened. Mm -hmm. And so um, there was a giant consummation. And so there's a whole lot of afterglow and processing of what happened in that. 